today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to make this beautiful cross cable stitch. Isn't it just beautiful? Look at that, guys. Now, this certain sample is done with a DK weight and a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. But in today's tutorial, I'm going to use a medium full weight yarn and a 5.0 millimeter crochet hook. But there's the difference. This is DK and this is four weight. So let's go ahead and get started on this beautiful stitch. Okay, and as I said, I am using a 5.0 and a medium four weight. So what you need to do to start off with, this pattern or this stitch calls for a multiple of four plus three. So I am going to chain 20 and add three for my sample here. So, um, you may want to start with a slip knot. Just like that. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, and 20. Now I'm going to add three. One, two, three. Okay, the first thing you want to do, we're going to make single crochets across our chain. So we're going to make one single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So there's one chain, second chain. We're gonna work a single crochet. So insert your hook, grab your yarn, pull through, grab your yarn, pull through two loops. That's a single crochet. And then, so just insert your hook in the next chain. Grab your yarn, pull through. Grab your yarn, pull through two loops. And just keep repeating that. Insert your hook, grab your yarn, pull through. Grab your yarn, pull through two loops. So you now have three single crochets across here. And just keep repeating that all the way across to your last chain. And you should, in this sample here, you will end with 22 single crochets. Okay, I'll meet you when you get to your last single crochet. Okay, I'm on my last single crochet. And here's what it looks like. That was row one. Row two and row three are going to be your repeat rows. So to start row two, we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Turn our work. Now, we're considering that a double crochet. So let's skip this uh, next stitch. And in this stitch, the next three stitches, we're going to make a double crochet. So skip the next stitch. And to make a double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Now you have a double crochet. We're going to make two more. Yarn over, insert your hook. Next stitch, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Now you have two double crochets. One more. Yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. You now have three double crochets. So you have a chain three, skip stitch, three double crochets. So now what we're going to do, this is what's going to make our work interesting. It's going to make our cross cable stitch. We're going to double crochet in that skipped stitch. So you wonder how we're going to do that? Well, here's how we're going to do it. I like to hold my thumb finger on that stitch so it doesn't get lost. We're going to yarn over, insert your hook in that stitch. It's a little awkward for you at first. And kind of hold your work down. Grab your yarn from the back, pull through, and then kind of loosely go up to the height of your double crochet. Now complete a double crochet. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Don't get that third loop in there. There you go. Yarn over, pull through two loops. And see you crossed over. Let's do that 
again. So we're going to skip the next stitch right here and we're going to make a double crochet in the next three stitches. So skip this stitch, yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. There's another double crochet. A double crochet in the next one, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. So, uh, yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. Okay, so now kind of hold your thumb there to hold to so that you don't miss that stitch. And we're going to make another crossed cable. So let's do this again. You can do this, guys. Just practice it. Yarn over, insert your hook in that stitch, yarn over, pull through and pull it up to the height of that stitch right there. Yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. And then the back side looks like that. You can see you just crossed over. Now let's try this again. And you can always put this in slow motion. Skip the next stitch, a double crochet in the next three stitches. That's one, two, and three. Here's our skipped stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook into that stitch. Grab your yarn from the back, like that. Pull up. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. You just made a cross double crochet right there. Okay, skip the next stitch and a double crochet in the next three. There's one, two, and three. Okay, so I'll put my thumb over here to that skip stitch, yarn over, insert my hook in that skip stitch, grab my yarn from the back, pull up loosely, and then make a complete a double crochet. Just like that. It's a little awkward at first, but as the as your rows go up. Like when we get ready to do the next set, it's a lot easier because you have stability. Right now, um, the yarn, you know, sort of wants to twist on you because it's kind of thin right here on this bottom. You don't have anything but a single crochet row. So skip the next stitch. Make a double crochet in the next three stitches. That's one. Two. And three. Okay, so this is our skip stitch right there. Yarn over, insert your hook, and that skip stitch. Grab your yarn from the back, pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Last single crochet, you're going to put a double crochet in there. Chain one, turn your work. Okay, so now we're going to single crochet in each stitch across. So you should end up with 22 single crochets for this stitch sampler. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10. Okay, I will meet you when you get to the end. Okay, your last stitch will be in the top of your chain three. So that's how you do this. I'll go ahead and start you on the cable one again. We'll do a couple more of those. Chain three, one, two, three. Turn your work, skip this next stitch, and in this stitch, you're going to make a double crochet. And a double crochet in the next two stitches. One and two. Okay, to make our cross cable, we're going to go work in that stitch right there. So yarn over, insert your hook to that skip stitch, yarn over, pull through, pull through the height. See, it works a lot easier when you have more stability down here. Skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next three stitches. That's one. two, and three. Now we're going to work in that skip stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook in that skip stitch, grab from the back, yarn over, pull through and pull up to the height of that double crochet, and then make your double crochet. And that's all you've got to do, guys. You can do this. Just keep repeating rows two and three. And you'll want to end with row three so that you, whatever project you're doing, so that you have a single crochet on the uh, bottom and on your top of your project. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. And um, this is something that you can do. It's not as hard as it looks. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.